Hello everybody, enough with the uh, rants of Apple. Um, tonight I'm going to be doing a, another retro review video, and this time I bring you my original iPhone 2G. This iPhone was unveiled by Steve Jobs in January of 2007, and, it, and on June of 2007 it was released to the public. So when this phone was first launched and uh, unveiled in January of 2007, the phone that Steve Jobs was using to in the in the in the demo, it had a resistive touch screen. And Steve Jobs uh, told the engineers at Apple that he wanted to use a glass touch screen, uh, capacitive touch screen. And the engineers at Apple uh, simply said they could not do it. And Steve Jobs said, "I don't care. I want a glass touch screen on the iPhones." And they were able to do that, and the iPhones were shipped with a glass touchscreen. Um, when this iPhone first came out in 2007, uh, it did not have the App Store. You could not download apps. You could not move the apps around on the home screen. You couldn't make folders. You couldn't do none of that. Um, it was very limited. It did have an iTunes Store, and that's about it. Um, so and the App Store was not released until a year after alongside with iOS 2.0 or I'm sorry iPhone OS 2.0 and the iPhone 3 iPhone 3G which I have as well and I'll do a review on that in the next video so without further ado let's go ahead and just take a look at the phone so on the bottom we have our classic home button this is this is way before they had Touch ID, obviously. We have our 3.5 inch uh, display. It is a resolution of, uh, I have the specs here on my iPad. I, am, I do not really know the specs of this phone. It is 320 by 480 pixels. It has a pixel density of 164 PPI. And at, back in the day, this was the, this was a deal. This was, the biggest screen on a phone. Now it's real small. Now we have 5.5 uh, and 5.8 inch models. Um, this uh, phone had the Samsung S5L8900 um, processor. It was a 412 megahertz processor with with uh, 128 megabytes of SD RAM. So very very outdated in terms of that um, it, the GPU was a power VR MBX light GPU GPU and um, so that's that the processor and RAM specs on the top we have our ear, ear uh, piece and on the top here we have the recessed headphone jack. This was the major weak spot of the iPhone back then. It was recessed. You can only use Apple brand headphones. Although, um, there were two companies that made this adapter that can fit here. You can use your regular headphones. And those, that was probably like a $30 piece. That was made by, I think, Belkin and Griffin made those at the time. Um, to get around this recessed headphone issue, but hey, at least it has a headphone jack. You can't say that now with the newer iPhones, but at least it's there. Um, you also have the SIM slot. This is the full-size SIM. This is way before they had micro and nano SIMs now. Here we have the sleep white button. On the back we have a 2.0 megapic megapixel rear-facing camera. And with this camera, you cannot record videos. You can only take pictures on it, and the camera quality is not that good. But back in the day, it was pretty good. Here we have a um, Apple logo, which was a separate component. It was not just uh, printed on. It's actually a separate component, which is real nice. And this is the 4 gigabyte model. And it does have some scratches on it, which is pretty typical for a phone this old. Um, these phones, uh, that first iPhones were not, didn't, they didn't really have cases that you can put them in, so a lot of these older iPhones are pretty beat up, but this one's in pretty good condition. Um, on the bottom here we, we do have the, the, um, <coughs> speaker, the old 30-pin dock connector, and as well as a microphone. 
on the side here, we do have the sleep weight. This the uh, I'm sorry. This is the uh, vibrate mute switch, as well as the volume buttons, the volume rockers. And this little black band down here is for the GPS and 2G uh, radios. Now about the 2G network. In January of 2000, this, of January of this year, they have officially shut down all the 2G networks. So this phone is officially obsolete. You can no longer text or make calls on this phone, regardless if you have a SIM card in here that is activated. This phone will not work anymore. So let's go ahead and uh, demonstrate it in action. This iPhone is running iOS 3.1 or iPhone OS 3.1.3. And um, let's go ahead and show you, just to prove to you that I am running iOS, iPhone OS 3.1.3 right here. Um, this phone does have an issue where it has these dead spots here, which was very common for the uh, original iPhone and the iPod Touch, and I also do have an, the original iPod Touch, and I will also do a review of that. Now... Let's talk about um, app support. There are literally no apps that support this one. At all. I was lucky to get this one, which I saw on a video of YouTube. They said that this app runs iOS, iPhone OS 3.1.3. So you can see it does take a while for it to load because this has a low. This is a very low spec phone. But just to prove to you it works, we'll go ahead and play it. And I will link this app in the description. I will put this app in the description. So if you have an original iPhone, I will, you can download this. This is the only app I could find that does support this model is iPhone and it's probably the only app that supports it as far as I know but just to show you that it does work so that is the only thing I can find the app that supports this phone next let's take a look at the camera so here's the camera on here not very good but back in the day it was really good let's put up to my fluorescent light here see the bars because this light has a magnetic ballast so it, you get those bars but you you do get those bars on the newer cameras as well look how long it took to close that app it's pretty crazy maybe this phone needs a new battery as well <laughs> nah. um, the battery well the battery is actually pretty good on this phone actually um, let's go ahead and test the sound quality on here. This is the uh, voice memos app. Let's, I'll record a sample just, just to give you an idea how this thing sounds. Hello everybody, this is a test of the microphone on the iPhone 2G. Um, thank you for listening and enjoy. Alright, let's see if I see what it sounds like. I don't know if you can hear that. It's not very, the microphone on this thing is not very sensitive. Let me try again. Oh, the ear speaker was on, okay. Hello everybody, this is a test of the microphone on the iPhone 2G. Um, thank you for listening and enjoy. So you can see it's not very good sound quality, it's very muffled, but that's, I mean, that's to expect. This is an older phone. It wasn't very, uh, uh, I mean, at the time it was very innovative, but now we just look for it as very limited. But um, in terms of usability, this phone well, is not very good. You cannot, like I said, you can't make calls on it. You can't text anybody because they did shut down the 2G networks on this thing. But you, but, it, but you can listen to music on here. And just to show you that it 
can still play music. Hopefully, um, I don't get copyrighted. But uh, let me find a song that won't, that will, but, um, just to show you that does work. So, it's not completely useless, you can still use it to um, listen to music on, that's probably the only thing I recommend, but if you're like me and you like older iPhones, you like to collect these things, this is, this is very good for that, and this is very good because this is a piece of history it's very nice to have the original iPhone so um, I hope you enjoyed this video of my original iPhone 2G and um, I hope to see you in the next video and don't forget to subscribe don't forget to comment down below and don't forget to like this video as well um, I hope you enjoy I'll see you in the next video peace